Howdy farmers, this is Daniel from LED Tonic and in today's video we are putting our new Q2 LED grow light to the test. As we've just released our new LED Tonic Q2 grow light which comes in three different Kelvins, we decided to do a quick experiment on how different Kelvins or CCTs affect plant growth. We set up a small indoor vegetables closet grow and hung a 3000 Kelvin Q2 above the left side of the grow space and a 4000K Q2 above the other side. In this experiment, we had four pots under each lamp, two basil plants, one dill weed and one red salad. While this experiment was neither very scientific or quantitative due to its limited size, we still wanted to see if any major differences in plant growth or yield could be noticed. After all, 3000K and 4000K looks rather different for our human eyes, but will it produce a noticeable difference on our plants? The general consensus in the growing com community is that low Kelvin, 3000K and below, results in taller plants, whereas high Kelvin, 4000K or above, results in more compact plants. Let's see what happens. All seeds were planted at the same time and we compared the plants after 30 days and also after 45 days. This is also when we harvested them. In the plant's early phase, the lamps were around 16 inches or 40 centimeters above the plants. This resulted in a, around 150 ppft. The temperature was around 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 degrees Celsius throughout the growth period. The plants grew fairly evenly throughout the grow. Um, third days in, the red salad's color was a bit more red and intense under the 4000K lamp, but plant mass and size was about the same. All six dillweed plants grew roughly equally tall and had an equal amount of shoots. There was no visible difference between the dill grown under 3000K compared to 4000K lamp. Unfortunately, the basil had a reaction to the nutrients when we increased the nutrient concentration mid-grow. This resulted in dark spots and a few burnt leaves. The damage was more or less equal in all pots, so while this reduced the yield, there shouldn't be much discrepancy between different pots. Comparing the plants once again shows only marginal differences. The plants grown under a 4000K lamp were surprisingly a bit taller than the plants grown under a 3000K lamp. But otherwise their growth was very similar. Here are the plants 45 days after the seeds were planted. Except for the nutrient burn on the basal plants, they all developed well, but the differences between the two lamps remained under underwhelming. Neither in mass or size were the plants particularly dif different. Even the color difference in the red salad became less apparent as they matured. A quick PPFD measurement shows that the salads received around 250 PPFD, while the taller basil received up to 900 PPFD on the top leaves, which resulted in a bit of light bleach. The Q2 LED lamps definitely covered all plants with plenty of light, 
uh, and even one lamp would have been enough for this nearly 2x2 two two or 60x60 60 60 centimeter closet row. Here are the final images of the plants with their corresponding Kelvin. No major differences have developed since the last comparison. Appearance, size, mass, distance between nodes, and even the taste were very similar, if not identical, across the different plants. The only conclusion that is worth drawing from this small experiment is that the two different Kelvin spectrums had very little impact on the plant's growth. It's possible that different plants would have reacted differently or at a wider range of Kelvin, let's say 2000K compared to 6500K, for instance, would have resulted in more obvious differences. This is all we had for today, good folks. Again, we wanted to show you what you can expect if you start your own vegetable garden indoors. While different light recipes do have an impact on plants, the difference between 3000K and 4000K on small leafy greens and herbs is insignificant. Instead, you might want to consider which color you are most comfortable with having in your home. Take care everybody and until next time, happy farming!